Hey guys, Old Bess here. All right, so this is an awesome gold farming spot and I wanted to thank Stephanie Duncan. Thank you so much for suggesting this on my last video. So this is a complete raw vendored gold farm. And right now, if you run this in our current expansion in Warlords, you're looking around 2000 gold per hour. Um, if you have really good gear, you're gonna be getting a lot more than that. But in Legion, I would expect around 5,000 gold per hour. So this is going to be a great spot. No professions, no auction house, and no competition. This is just like the gold maker's dream, to be honest. So the one thing you do need, though, like right now, is you need a decently geared character. So I would suggest item level 720. I'm item level 723 currently. All right, so let's talk about location. So this is in Gorgrond zone, and we're gonna be headed to the Everbloom dungeon. So I tried this out on normal, heroic, and mythic difficulty. Normal, you get a lot less loot, even though the mobs have less health, it's not worth it. And on mythic, the mobs have way too much health. So we're gonna be doing it on heroic mode. So you can reset this dungeon 10 times an hour. Don't kill any of the bosses, just the trash. There is a ton of trash in here. So the focus of this farm, we are gonna be trying to get the glowing seeds. This is a gray item and they vendor for 5.12 gold. So basically just over five gold each. So the main items you're gonna be getting during this farm are gray items and greens. In this dungeon, the main mob that you wanna focus on killing are the packs of dread petals. Also, when you see the menders, kill them immediately because they heal other mobs and they also stun you. So they're very annoying. So kill those as soon as you can. As for the route I'm doing, what I'm doing is I'm killing everything in front of me and then I'm jumping up the cliff and grabbing two packs of dread petals up there. And then what I do is I head back and I kill everything on the right hand side. And then I go run out and reset it. So. Once Legion comes out, you should be able to clear both the right and the left hand sides completely. But right now I'd recommend just staying on the right hand side. There are some kind of tough enemies on the left hand side. There's a tree, a giant tree, and also a giant plant. So I'd avoid those because they have a lot of health. Okay, so I ran this for a full hour. Again, my character is decently well geared. I have heroic gear, I don't have any mythic gear. So mythic geared players are just gonna do a lot better farming this dungeon. If you have crappy gear, I'd probably just hold on to this farm, wait till Legion. Hopefully it doesn't get nerfed. I kinda doubt it's gonna get nerfed just because it's a good farm, but it's not really super overpowered. But to be honest, I think it's gonna be one of the best raw gold farms in the game once Legion hits. Okay, so here are my results. I was able to reset it five times, so on average it took me about 10 minutes to just clear the right-hand side of the trash. So I got 265 glowing seeds. So a lot of those, and again, those are over five gold each. I got an auction house part. Unfortunately, they're not really worth anything, so I'm just gonna vendor those with the gray items. So all the gray items all together, they vendored for 1,579 gold. And then I got 21 greens, which I vendored for 514 gold. And I got two blues, which I vendored for 50 gold. I also got a lock box, but I'm not able to open that currently. So that would actually be more gold, but I'm not including that in the total. So the total I got was 2,143 gold in an hour. So that is really good. That's really good for a gold farm, a raw gold farm, where you don't have to rely on the auction house. Again, if you have better gear, you're gonna be making a lot more than that. And also, I'd really recommend trying this farm once Legion comes out. Once we're level 110, you're just gonna rip through these mobs. It's really gonna increase how much gold you can make per hour. So keep an eye on this farm, guys. I really think it's gonna be a great one on Legion. If you're watching this video and Legion's come out, go try it. You should make some good gold. I wanted to have a quick shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and the channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It's very, very appreciated. Also, thank you so much to those that are supporting me on Patreon, in particular, Steve, Hedwin, and Ben. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys again soon.